All right, everyone, welcome out to Drinking Across America. It's me, your host, Ron Ratcatcher Antonori, coming at you with an episode of Ron's Reviews. That's right, and this week I'm bringing you Westbrook Brewing Company out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, and their Key Lime Pie Goza. And it is a Goza style, of course, by the name, Key Lime Pie Goza. And it is coming in at you with 4% ABV. So fairly low, well, very low, and should be pretty easy drinking. Well, Westbrook Brewing Company was opened on December 20th, 2010 in uh, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina by college sweethearts and now husband and wife beer lovers, Edward and Morgan Westbrook, the brewery's namesake, as you can tell. Well, Edward and Morgan, they are always experimenting with ingredients and flavors, so you never know what you're in for from this up-and-coming brewery, which has 22 beers on tap at the moment, and they make 132 different beers. That's right, 132 different beers, man. That number right there is just incredible and amazing to think that, you know, a small-time brewery you know, not one of the big four, is making 132 different types of beer, you know. And I would love a chance to try and review each and every one of them. So, Westbrook Brewery, if you're out there, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, you know. I'd love to get in touch and feature you guys and see how many of those 132, well, after today, 131 different beers that I can try. But today, as I said, we've got the Key Lime Goza. Right here, you can see Westbrook Brewing Company, Key Lime Goza, and it is your classic Goza infused with the delicious flavors of a Key Lime pie. And I'm gonna tell you, man, spending a lot of time living in Florida, and I love Key Lime pies, man. There was actually even a bar down in West Palm Beach, actually in um, Lake Worth, Florida, called the Key Lime uh, Boathouse. And it was a seafood uh, restaurant bar right there on the water, man. People would pull up in their boats. They had an outside bar, outside seating area and all. And man, you know, and they were known for their Key Lime pie as well. Therefore, they had their name. But uh, this brew is made extra special just for you and just for me with all the flavors of a Key Lime pie. Cinnamon, coriander, key lime, sea salt, and vanilla to bring out the fresh key lime scent and flavor. So let's go ahead, pop it open, pour us a glass, and give it a smell and a taste. So here we go. It's definitely got a lime and salty flavor scent to it. Yeah, it's pouring a nice little head on it. There we go. Perfect pour. Oh yeah. You look at it, it's nice, it's clear. You can see the key lime in it, giving it a little cloudiness when you actually get looking to it. You can see it's starting to get, float up to the top. The bottom here is still real clear. Oh man, that key lime is coming out. Well, let's go ahead and give it the big test and that is the taste test. So here we go. Mm. You definitely hit with the key lime flavor first. And the salt, then you get the cinnamon, the coriander, and then the lime is coming back out. A little bit of vanilla taste in there. Very good. I mean, as you usually know, I'm not much of a goza guy. Um, goza guy. 
because I'm not into the sours. But here lately, man, I've been trying some pretty good sours. I had the Terrapin Watermelon Goza, which was their first foray into the Goza category. And it was excellent, man. If you love watermelons, you love Goza, and it is a kettle styled. Uh, the Watermelon Goza was. This one here is not. Um, it is just a Goza style. But um, anyhow, this is very light, very refreshing as well. It does have that great key lime pie flavor to it. Um, excellent scent. You still still smelling the lime. You can see the lime. That's what's that's what's settling in the glass is the key lime. So you can see it is fresh key lime that they are using. And these people, you know, Edward and Morgan, they are definitely definitely some mad scientists I guess when it comes to making beer with having a, a hundred and thirty two different kinds of beer that they make and always experimenting with the flavors and ingredients you know putting stuff together that you wouldn't think of you know I would love to try some more of their beer seriously this one right here is excellent I'm not a Goza drinker but I would drink this you know it's a great beer for a summer day you know, when you're outside on a hot summer day down in Florida, like I said, you know, Tampa the other day, I was just down there. It was 95 degrees, heat index of 106 to 110, okay? I mean, and it was like that Wednesday, Thursday, yesterday, and today. So, I mean, it's extremely hot from there south in Florida, you know, and that's where key lime pies are known for, so... You definitely, if you're into key lime pies, you want to try this one. I'm loving it. Mm. Excellent. You do have that limey flavor. Of course, you would. It's a key lime pie. The key lime is going to be the most influential flavor that you get from it. The most overpowering the main flavor and the more it sits the more the the beer sits and settles the more pronounced that key lime pie that key lime flavor is with every every sip that you take definitely a good beer good choice glad I chose it uh, the only reason I did was because it said key lime pie and I was like, hey, might as well try it. Most Gozas that I like are the flavored ones that are like a key lime pie. Well, this is my first key lime pie one. But, you know, I've had watermelon, had blueberry, blackberry, cherries. You know, they're mostly fruit flavored. Um, I can handle them a lot more than uh, some other, other styles of uh, Gozas. Uh, that are really sour, like lemons. I don't really care for the citrusy ones, you know, the, the lemons, the limes. Usually, usually. This one right here, though, it's, it, it's, it's got a nice offset with the salt, sea salt, the cinnamon, the coriander, so, and the vanilla. So you definitely want to check it out if you can find it at your nearest uh, beer store. Mine was up in Atlanta at the uh, Hop City Atlanta. They have two locations in Atlanta, one on the west side, one, at the, one in the Krog Street uh, Market. And they also have a sister location over in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, Hop City, Birmingham, for all of you people over in the Alabama, you know, Alabama area. I actually did uh, film an episode there. I got to interview the Nappy Roots, uh, check out their uh, seventh year anniversary. Uh, you can check it out on my YouTube channel uh, right along with all of my reviews. So I'm going to finish up my beer. I suggest you do the same. As always, stay safe, stay sound, and when I say stay safe, don't drink and drive and stay responsible because I want each and every one of you to stay alive and come back and join me every week right here on Drinking Across America, Ron's Reviews. So call a friend, call a cab, call a ride share. I suggest Lyft because they partner with a lot of breweries across America giving you and me, the customer at these breweries, a discount for using their service. And trust me, the breweries aren't going to tow your car. They're going to thank you for being responsible and leaving your car there and taking a ride home. So, as I said, 
call a friend, call a cab. I would suggest calling a Lyft. You can call Uber if you want to uh, or whoever. But call someone and don't drink and drive. So until next time, stay safe out there, everyone. And I give this two pints up. So till next time, this is your host, Ron Antonori, signing out, drinking across America. That's a pretty good goza right there.